Pursuing a state championship takes a lot of time, effort, and preparation. Juggling game prep with schoolwork can be a challenge. However, if you ask our student athlete of the month from Starkville, it's all just a part of the process. WCBI Sports' Tom Ebel has more. To see that the grind is paying off, see all that hard work paying off, it's just, it's just great to see. 2019 has been the breakout season for Starkville wide receiver Joshua Aka. Double digit receiving touchdowns as he became a key piece in the Yellow Jackets state championship run. Football is a part of Aka's future, but football doesn't define the senior. Aka is a member of the National Honor Society while also taking college level courses after being accepted to the Shackles Early Honors College at Mississippi State. Aka says balancing football and his education is what being a student athlete is all about. It's demanding for each side. Uh, it's really big for that, these college courses that I'm taking, that I stay on top of that. And it's also very big that um, I make sure that I, I complete each task that my coaches and the coaching staff and even the city that's watching us each and every Friday, that I make sure that I don't let them down or anybody else down. Some people can't do both, you know, but he's one of those kids, you know, that can do both. And to me, um, that shows the guys behind him, you know, that, okay, I can do it too. You know, I can be a great student and be a great athlete. Sports will always be a part of Aka's life as he hopes to pursue a career in kinesiology, hoping to one day open his own physical therapy clinic. I've always grown up, you know, when I got hurt in middle school, I had a, a little growth plate issue. And I, I seen, you know, no, you know, the people, they were, they were real genuine. They were real down to earth people. And, you know, just helping people is one thing that I always love doing. And uh, with a student athlete like me and athletes in general, you know, I always wanted to get quick, quickly back on the field and they helped me do that. For those that see ACA all the time, it's not a surprise seeing all the hard work and effort pay off. I always thought, you know, he's going to be successful no matter what, no matter if it's football, um, whether it's, you know, school or later on in life, you know, when he gets a job because he's just one of those kids that just does everything right. He works his butt off. And to me, um, when you work hard and just be patient and do what you're supposed to do, you know, your time will come. It's all about your work ethic to me. And as long as you work hard each and every day, some days you may not want to come in and you may not want to practice or in that sense of nature because we're, we're all human. So, you know, we all just have to make sure that when we do do things that we do it at 100 percent, 120, whatever it takes to reach that goal. In Starkville, Tom Ebel, WCBI Sports. ACA and Starkville High School state championship run may have ended. However, ACA's football career is far from over.